what about weight loss? If you want to know what's going on with me and weight, stay tuned. I don't know how much I weigh. I haven't weighed myself since. Well, I know that I am between 195 and 205, somewhere in there probably. I am not sure because I just don't regularly weigh myself. I stopped have been for the past year trying my best to stick mm -hmm. to whole plant-based foods, trying to maintain mm -hmm. an active lifestyle. I think that is the most important for me presently is just maintaining an active lifestyle so that um, I am not gaining weight. And I have not gained weight for quite some time, which which makes me know that I am on the right track. Eating um, a balanced um, vegan diet and being able to uh, make it sustainable for me and my family has been the most important thing for me to do. I keep looking out the window because my neighbors, I have the window open for the light and my neighbors are looking at me talk to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> um, but stay tuned after what we're going to eat this week in week 10 um, to see the steps that I'm going to take to make sure that I do start losing some more weight and some more inches. Here's coming. what we are eating this week for breakfast. Macy will have her peanut butter and banana toast with hemp seed or her grilled cheese sandwich with sauteed mushrooms, bell peppers, onions, um, and an orange. And then for breakfast, Michael will have cereal, the same cereal from last week. If he is going to work, he'll have the Boca chicken sandwiches. No. Here we go. The Boca chicken sandwiches for um, lunch at work. At home, he will have with me steamed vegetables and steamed rice. We've been eating jasmine rice um, for the past couple of weeks because I brought, bought a rice cooker finally and jasmine rice is delicious. For dinner, we're going to have tonight and tomorrow night. This is an enchilada casserole. Um, it's vegan beef crumbles and peppers and onions, pinto beans for the filler, and then the nacho, the vegan nacho cheese, and some daya shreds. And then we're going to have, mother will love this, Funchi! It's basically just polenta, but my mother's from the Caribbean and they call it funchi. And then on top of it, we're going to have, this is an entire pint of sauteed, well, mushrooms, green onions, and garlic that I'm going to saute to put on top of it. Um, since I prefer hot funchi over, over, or over day old funchi, um, I'm going to saute and cook the veggies the day I'm going to eat it. And then the last two days of the week, we're going to have, this is taco soup. I had two baggies of this. We'll just have it over rice and I'll cook that in a rice cooker. Um, I'll probably do brown, brown rice for that though. That's what we're eating. The first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm focusing on weight training. And right off the bat, that is a slower weight loss regime. I don't care, but I'm interested in it. It's something that will keep me active. And so I'll put in the link um, below the weight training um, exercises that I'm going to be doing this month. Um, my goal is to do it every day this month, so it's not a super intensive workout because I'm going to be doing it every day. Um, and even today, like I'm supposed to do, uh, it's supposed to be uh, uh, something that's done in rounds of three. I did two, I was sweaty, and I'm pretty sure my thighs will be sore tomorrow. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to try to go on walks alone for at least 30 minutes three times a week that is a minimum goal and that's more for mental health um i sleep better when i walk um I, it's nice to have a little time to yourself too because this one when she's not feeling good yeah yeah will be in my arm my baby feels terrible um we may go to the doctor tomorrow um diet and um diet is concerned i would like um to uh, increase the amount of whole foods that I am eating and de decrease the amount of processed foods and when I say processed foods I've cut out most of the junk every now and then I have a bowl of cereal I had ice cream 
and stuff, some junk last week. Um, but um, like pastas and things of that nature, stuff that's really fine to eat. But I know that if I want to trim um, excess fat, it would be um, easier if I had were eating more whole foods. Um, I'm trying to incorporate more vegetables. I eat a ton of vegetables, but eating a ton more is not going to add a whole lot of calories and it'll um, um, cut out some of the other foods that I'm eating. And making sure that I get enough sleep. I struggle with sleeping every night and um, it gets thrown off a lot. We were under the weather last week, so I was taking medicine before I went to bed. I can't really take it during the day because it makes me drowsy. Take it before I go to sleep, and it throws off my sleep for the next two weeks. So just focusing on getting some more sleep so that I am a better, well-rounded person. I am also, and this has nothing to do with weight loss, but I think it has everything to do with the balanced lifestyle, trying to learn something new every month. This month it is using chopsticks. I was actually on a dinner date with a girlfriend um, this past weekend and I was in a Chinese restaurant, mind you, using chopsticks and people thought it was the strangest thing in the world. But I can use them really well and I use them at home for at least one meal, so yeah. That's what I'm doing um, to focus more on trying to lose weight. I may start weighing myself. I've just been going on my clothes here lately, to be honest with you. I haven't been on the scale since October. I did get on the scale during the fast in January, but I don't count that because I wasn't eating for like four days. So who knows how much I actually weigh. And I don't, you know, I'm cool with that. Um, but... If you are on your own weight loss journey, don't forget to comment below. Um, tell me some of the things that you are doing, some tips for me, because I am open to suggestions. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay blessed and stay tuned. Say bye-bye, Macy. No?